Turn to the blizzard that struck southern New England just two days after a nor'easter dumped more than a foot of snow. ABC's Gio Benitez is in the middle of it all in Old Saybrook, Connecticut this morning. Gio, as I said on the top of the show, it's only going to get to 28 degrees where you are today. Brr, we feel it, Viana. Good morning to you. You know, that storm dropped another foot of snow here in the Northeast, and this time packing with it some howling winds. We're talking about winds reaching over 60 miles per hour. Just when will it end? It's a cold, harsh, frostbitten awfulness. <laughs> this morning, millions of Americans are once again pushing, pulling, and digging their way out of another snowstorm, the second in three days, piling even more feet of snow on top of these already buried cars and homes across the Northeast. I hate it. I, I wish it was done. With less than a day between storms, crews in New England, New York, and Philadelphia rushed to clear the roadways. But even they couldn't escape Old Man Winter's wrath. Watch as this Jeep comes to the rescue, actually towing this massive plow out of a snowbank. De-icing crews blasted planes while passengers waited and waited to take off. Even late into the night, watch as beams from this lighthouse cut through the blizzard conditions, blasting the Massachusetts coastline. While salt is quickly running out across the region, in New York, some stores are reportedly even running out of snow boots. People now just begging for a little relief. I'm definitely ready for spring. While others just wish they could go away. I'm ready to go to Florida, California, anywhere but here. And this morning, nearly 6,000 people are waking up without power once again in the Boston area. And we can't stress this enough. Over the next few days, you've got to watch for that black ice on the roads, that dangerous invisible black ice because that as we know is what causes so many accidents here dan black ice is a killer and that's a, a really good reminder geo we appreciate it and as we endure this winter of discontent we here at gma have instituted <laughs> a countdown clock it's right there on the screen right there as that a butterfly of fact. uh yeah there's a butterfly there just a nice little touch we added that 31 days until spring even before spring arrives though we are and here's the good news expecting something of a February thaw. With more on that, let's get it straight over to Bill Kelly, also uh, walks around with a uh, butterfly on his shoulder all the time. He is the meteorologist at, at WSYX in Columbus, Ohio, and he's yep. joining us for this weekend. Very happy to have you. Yeah, thank you. Happy to be here. That and a little tulip. You know, we just, anything to remind us that spring is right around the corner. F unfortunately, the thaw is not going to last a tremendous amount of time. We'll get to that in just a second. But look at this morning. We're at 12 to start you out in Syracuse. 21 in New York City, but we have those winds 20 to 40 miles per hour. So temperatures feel much colder than this. So grab that jacket before heading out. But when we look at December, January and February, talk about the winter snowfall. I mean, my word, New York, the seventh snowiest on record. Chicago, the third snowiest. Indianapolis, you've had the snowiest on record, but there is a little bit of snow that's going to continue to make its way across. We will continue to watch the snow work its way on through. Bianna? You're a southern twang there, Bill. My words. Are you just my, my words? My words. <laughs> That's when you know it's cold outside. <laughs> Thanks, Bill.